from uh, uh, Takashi Wimlesen. Uh, he is uh, uh, the uh, uh, okay. so, so, sorry. Uh, Aomori Division Vice Manager and the uh, Nuclear Planning Office of the uh, Tokyo Electric Power Co uh, Company, uh, Holding Company. Uh, his presentation is uh, focusing on the uh, experiences uh, in Japan for the uh, uh, construction, operation, and regulation on the advanced boiling water uh, reactor. Please, uh, Wemras. Thank you. Um, thank you for giving this opportunity to share our knowledge. Um, in this presentation, I'm going talking about ABWR construction and operation experience in TEPCO Holdings. Uh, let's get started. The, at first, I'd like to introduce myself. Um, I'm Takashi Uemura. The pronunciation is very difficult. Please call me Taka. The, um, from Tokyo Electric Power Company Holdings. The current position is uh, Aomori Division Vice Manager. And uh, I'm um, in charge of uh, Higashidori uh, ABWR construction project and uh, corporate strategy and uh, uh, additionally innovative boring water reactor concept study for the future. And uh, in my work experience, I was in charge of uh, nuclear safety engineering, uh, like safety analysis and the probability risk analysis, uh, responding to licensing for restart for uh, restarting of uh, Kashiwazaki 6 and uh, 7 ABWR after the Fukushima accident. Um, and so on. And, uh, in human resource, uh, human resource, sorry, um, human resource development center, I established nuclear engineering skills certification system in TEPCO. Um, additionally, in the Fukushima Daiichi accident, I dedicated to respond uh, in headquarter as a nuclear safety expert. Um, before the content, I'd like to introduce the history of BWR construction of TEPCO. Uh, TEPCO has built uh, 17 nuclear plants since 1971. Uh, Fukushima Daiichi Unit 1 was a uh, tanky contract with uh, General Electric, uh, which was provided uh, through set up unit, um, unit number one. After unit two, number one, some, sorry, some improvement points were founded and uh, a improvement uh, and the standardization program was started to solve. Since then, uh, through the improvement and the standardization program, we promoted it. Uh, domestic equipment and the technology, and has been led to construction of ABWR as Japan BWR. So this presentation will uh, focus on ABWR's construction and uh, operating experience as uh, culmination of construction and oper operating experiences. Uh, this is an overview of this presentation. At first, uh, I'd like to explain the overview of the Kashiwazaki Kariwa ABWR Unit 6 and 7. And then number two and then number three uh, are about the construction experience. Number four is about uh, operate, operating experience. Number five is uh, current situation. The last one is uh, uh, Higashidori ABWR nuclear power plant uh, construction project. The Kashiwazaki Kariwa nuclear power station is located in Niigata prefecture in Japan. Uh, there are seven nuclear reactors in Kashiwazaki Kariwa. 
uh, Unit 1 started commercial operation in 1985, uh, followed by Unit 5, 2, 3, 4, and 6, and uh, Unit 7 in 1997. A total installed generating capacity of uh, 1.2 million kilowatt. Uh, Kashiwaza Kikaru NPS was the la world's largest nuclear power station in terms of total installed generating capacity at that time. Uh, unit 1 to 5 are a BWL5 plant, and the unit 6 and 7 are uh, advanced BWR, ABWR. The Tokyo area is a long distance away from the plant. The electric power is transmitted high voltage transmission line of 1,500 kilovolt. I explained a little bit in first program paragraph. Uh, ABWL was developed through implement and the standardization uh, program by coping with the public and the private sectors. The development of BWRs Japan, uh, in Japan began with the uh, uh, with the introduction of BWRs from GE in United States in the uh, 1960s. When BWRs were first introduced, uh, they find uh, many problems like uh, stress corrosion cracking of the stainless steel was discovered and, uh, and this repair work and the worsened working environment uh, caused the worker exposure uh, to increase, uh, sometimes uh, forced the shutdown of the plant. Uh, subsequently, uh, momentum grew, grew that these problems should be solved with independent technology development in Japan. And in 1975, um, improvement and the standardization program was initiated by the uh, Ministry of International Trade and uh, Industry, we called a MITI at, at the time. In uh, 1975, the MITI initiated a program to improve and uh, standardize BWR technology with the goal of uh, improving equipment reliability and uh, reduction radiation doses. In 1981, the development of a user-oriented plant like improved operability and economic efficiency was added to the previous goals. And phase three, as uh, as the ABW development was initiated. This show uh, typical features, uh, features of ABWR. Uh, ABWR development concept is enhanced safety by adapting internal pump cord rip, uh, higher operability by adapting upgraded and the man machine interface of the central control panel and the fine motion control load drive and uh, reduced dust equivalent. Uh, this is also by adapting internal pumps, enhanced cost efficiency by adapting RCCV. The, as for example, I'd like to explain about RIP and uh, RCCV a little bit. The, the internal pump is a reactor current recirculation pump built into the reactor pressure vessel, uh, whereas in conventional BWRs, it's located outside at the reactor pressure vessel. As a result, the reactor core is not exposed even in the event 
of the loss of coolant accident. Um, by controlling the uh, rotation speed of the internal pump with uh, stationary variable frequency power supply, the core flow rate and the void fraction in core are changed, which together with the control rot operation controls the reactor power. Uh, containment vessel and the reactor building are reduced in size by eliminating the recirculation system piping. Additionally, LIP can contribute for reduction of in-service inspection work as a result can contribute for reduction of radiation dust. The ABWR was able to downsize the reactor containment vessel by adapting an internal pump. The steel liner was attached to the bio shielding for pressure and leakage resistance Therefore, RCCV was designed and evaluated as integral structure with the reactor building, including the superstructure. Therefore, oh, sorry, the construction process was significantly uh, shortened by the reactor building, including RCCV at the same time. This table uh, mentions how much volume ABWR could reduce. As you can see, uh, amount of volume was reduced until 76%. Uh, uh, reducing the amount of material, materials used in civil engineering and uh, building construction work is ext extremely important to shorten and to reducing uncertainties of the construction period. By the way, the BWLX300 uh, is an even smaller structure and uh, has no rip, so the construction period and uh, our budget uncertainty would be maximally small, I think. The, from now, the main issue the, this flow chart shows main regulatory processes toward to operation stage. There are three approval steps. Installation permit, approval of construction plan, and approval of operational safety program. On the installation permit, a uh, basic concept of plant design is reviewed by regulatory body. After obtaining permission as the next process move on the detailed design and uh, construction plan are reviewed. In parallel, operation safety program, which is a technical specification to secure operation safety, is reviewed. After confirming validity of equipment through pre-service inspection, move on the uh, operation stage. This flow chart is the major milestones and the time frame of construction engineering processes. On the, on the plant concept study phase, Sorry, not <coughs> react. Oh, okay. The sorry, the on the plant concept study phase outline of electrical output, a layout plan, equipment layout plan, seismic design are considered. After basic. Uh, specification for uh, power plant is determined, uh, safety analysis and uh, does assessment uh, conducted. This phase generally takes uh, two or three years. 
Uh, determination of detailed design and licensing review are conducted in parallel after approval of uh, construction plan. Uh, equipment manufacturing is started. There are two uh, color uh, frame in this chart. Uh, these show the distribution of role between uh, utility and the vendors. Uh, as you can see, the determination about the plant concept level is utilities rule. The, this table is the history of the Kashiyaze Kariwa nuclear, nuclear Power Plant Unit 6. The environment report was submitted, submit, submitted in 1987. A licensing process was started uh, in 1988. A regulatory review of basic plant design periods took for 36 months. After building permit approval, the construction is started that period until operation phase was uh, 51 months. The time period shown here was then, and the, the situation is quite different these days. The review process is uh, extreme, extremely strict and takes a very long time currently. The, the rule of the electric power company in nuclear construction work is that as an owner, safety is top, is a top priority ensuring a reliable power supply, and to execute orders with clear specifications as the user, and promote the work with the uh, cooperation of many related companies. A basic rule assignment is shown this table. A design and construction work cope with plant manufacture and a major construction a farm, a licensing is a utilities role. The main rule of utility is overall project management uh, of uh, inter organizational interfaces. The, therefore, the key is the ability to execute proper project management based on understanding of laws, regulations, and the technology required. The next is about project management in utility to, to achieve on schedule and on budget. All of the flowing project must be uh, properly managed. Uh, main control items are procurement management, like ordering and contract management, schedule management, design management, like design review, progress management, and regulatory permission management, manufacturing management and construction process management, um, the safety management to ensure work safety and foster a culture of safety. Uh, this is very important to avoid halting construction works. Um, this is the construction structure of the uh, Kariwa Unit 6 and 7 in Tepco at that time, for example. The chief of construction site officer as the top manage all areas a QA assistant general manager is to secure quality of output in each section uh, with a cross-sectional view. Uh, there are three main areas, civil engineering, building, construction, electrical, and mechanical. These are classified according to the skill required. 
The next is uh, success factors for construction project. Why was the project completed on schedule on, and on budget in that time? After the TMI accident, nuclear industries enters a dark period worldwide. worldwide. On the other hand, a new nuclear power plant had constructed a continuously during this period uh, from 1980s to 1990 in Japan. Uh, this table shows the number of construction plants in each period in Japan. In Japan, the construction period is as short as four to five years and uh, had demonstrated uh, the high technical capacity of Japan's nuclear industry at that time. The construction period uh, of 51.5 months for uh, Kashiwazaki ABWR is still the shortest in, in the world. The key technologies to shorten the construction period were the large block modular construction method and the construction IT technology. The seven plants were constructed at the Kashiwazaki Kariwa, a nuclear power station, as experience and uh, technology accumulated uh, Kashiwazaki Kariwa 6 and 7, ABWR achieved the shortest construction period of uh, 50 months. Uh, plant manufacture and uh, and construction firms also increase the number of the skilled engineers. We analyzed what were the key success factors at the time. We strongly believe that there are six success factors, the accurate and the efficient construction planning, the and uh, high accurate process planning and the process control, good communication, uh, share value and ownership, high quality labor holes, tanky contracts. I would, like, I would now like to explain each e these factors in detail. The first is accurate and efficient construction planning. On planning phase, utilizing 3D CAD is effective to integrate design date, data of equipment, piping, cable, uh, and so on, on 3D CAD. And this is able to confirm in advance that there are no interference with the structure uh, between the uh, facilities. Uh, 3D CAD was also used for bringing in equipment, loading in equipment sh simulation. A uh, simulation of loading in large equipment is conducted using 3D CAD installations in advance. This is able to confirm work procedures, safety, and uh, structural soundness in advance. On construction phase, parallelization of construction work to reduce on-site workload uh, is important factor. Modular construction method is typical e example. And the improvement of work environment and efficiency to of field work is also important factor. Uh, this is an uh, example of comprehensive layout plan. Uh, integrate design data of equipment, uh, piping, uh, cables, cables uh, and so on, on 3D CAD to confirm in advance that 
there is no interference between equipment uh, and the structures, and uh, that there are no usability problems. A redesign and a rework have a big impact for schedule and to lead to waste resource. The next is pre simulation of the loading of large equipment by 3D CAD. The pre simulation is used to check for interference with other operation work procedures, uh, construction safety, and, and uh, structural soundness in advance. Yeah, this is a modular construction method to expand the application of large block and the modular construction method uh, by maximi ma maximizing the, uh, the use of large modular cranes uh, contribute to shorter construction period, improvement, improved quality, and safer construction work. 3D CAD used uh, for planning and installation uh, of large block and modules. Uh, this is an uh, all weather construction method. The, a temporary roof that can be open and closed is installed in advance. And, uh, and the temporary lifting equipment is installed inside. Uh, this method contributes to minimize work efficiency loss due to, the, uh, due to wind and the snow during the winter season. The next is highly accurate process planning and process control. Uh, on planning phase, uh, before starting construction, a common target construction process plan is established among all parties uh, involved in the project to uh, formulate an um, appropriate target construction process. Then, to share necessary information among the parties is important. On construction phase, um, monthly uh, weekly and daily process management and are needed to confirm uh, that each site work is being performed without delay as a careful process management. Uh, this is an uh, example of construction process planning. At first, timing of critical milestones in construction are determined as key date, dates. Uh, this is conducted two years prior to the start of construction. Uh, next is uh, based on the key dates, a master schedule is made, a construction methods and overall, overall work process are determined in this phase. The last one is a submaster schedule uh, which is daily detailed construction processes. A uh, submaster schedule is updated uh, as appropriate after construction has started. This is the example of the key dates. Uh, this is prepared by utility, TEPCO, and the selected critical construction tasks and uh, determined the timing of those tasks as critical dates for monitoring the progress of the construction work and uh, considered the impact of weather condition uh, like uh, snowfall. Uh, this is an uh, example of master schedule after decided key dates are uh, based on key dates major construction process for each building are uh, drawn like this. And the uh, major process key dates uh, span is validated through master schedule and the results are feedback to uh, key dates as necessary. Good communication. As you know, the construction of nuclear power plant is a very, very large project, so 
it's a very important factor. On planning phase, a period, periodic meeting to monitor the progress of design, procurement, and manufacturing, and to handle pending issue are held for internal information sharing and information sharing between a TEPCO and vendors. On construction phase is same. Additionally, the field work down is needed to check work condition and to enhance safety awareness. Uh, this is management st structure of the uh, Kashiyazaki Unit 6 and 7 construction project. Uh, steering committee, uh, for example, the once six months, a project meeting once two months, uh, blah, 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 like this, unnecessary information is shared in each layer. The next is shared values and ownership. Electric power company and the manufacturers and the major construction firms share the spirit of making good products uh, together beyond the position of the contractor and the order taker to share values. And the culture that does not assume penalty is also important. Uh, when a problem occurs, the client works with the contractor to resolve the problem rather than placing the blame solely on the contractor who caused the problem. This initiative uh, will lead to good relationship among the party. Uh, TEPCO have to uh, demonstrate ownership by itself. Um, it's needed to build a good relationship with our stakeholder uh, and to perform as ownership rule are important appropriate appropriate uh, project management to ensure that the many firms involved in the construction achieve their goals. Uh, there are, uh, as you know, there are many stakeholders in, stakeholders in the construction of a nuclear power plant like this figure. It's important for each relationship to be win-win and to build trust. I strongly believe that these are required appropriate communication and a viewpoint from the other party's perspective. TEPCO must, must manage the entire project. And uh, high quality labor force, the teamwork and the diligence, as you know, that there are not improvements that can be achieved independently, uh, but only after the items explained above are being, have been accomplished. Kaizen, uh, this is a culture that enjoy improvement. Uh, it's extremely important to always maintain this attitude and uh, always implement Kaizen. New idea for more efficient and uh, safer work are uh, created from here. The last one is tanky contracts. Basic approach is for safety critical equipment ordering by special order to manufacturers and the construction firm with experience in construction. It's not only focus on cost. For equipment of low safety importance order in a competitive order, uh, for example, on electric for example, on electrical and mechanical equipment ordering, a major equipment related to safety and plant performance, like a reactor, 
and the turbine facilities is ordered by tanky contracts, and the contractor has free responsibility. Other equipment, like radar waste treatment facility, boilers, and so on, and the contract are contracted on a competitive basis. But the uh, interface with the tanky contract equipment uh, should be kept as simple as possible. Complicated interface will generate only confuse in the field. This is the image of contract type of each facilities. To use different contract type depending on safety grade is able to read to cost down, but like this, the contract type should be as simple as to avoid confusing each party. Uh, this is just an example. The Taiwan Power Company Lumen project was contracted individually for each facility instead of a full tanky contract. Our interface management did not work well, resulting in process delays. Like this, highly ability to manage uh, the order was required to Taiwan Power Company. I think that we have to run from this case. It's needed engineering from the owner's perspective. Uh, we called this owner's engineering to en ensure the construction project proceed smoothly on schedule and on budget. The project success or failure depends on how well the power company demonstrates its ownership. So it's important for the electric power companies to demonstrate leadership and the owner's engineering so that each can achieve their assigned tasks. The construction of uh, nuclear power plants involves many different sectors. In particular, it's needed to pay special attention uh, to interface management between mechanical electrical design, uh, building design, uh, civil engineering design. Uh, this is about a future plant construction. Uh, we utilized our 3D CAD in the construction of Kashiwaze Kariwa ABWR, and uh, I believe that a faster utilization will be key technology for future construction. This is an example of uh, Toshiba. Toshiba has already developed the software called 6D CAD. The 6D CAD, that this software to be able to link elements such as uh, quantity, process, processes, and uh, resource to a uh, 3D CAD to achieve optimal process and uh, uh, personnel planning for nuclear plant construction and to assist the construction work on schedule. I explained earlier that uh, communication uh, between party is very important. The, I strongly believe that there are many areas uh, where IT technology can assist. Uh, this is an example of current utilization. The currently, uh, we use the 3D information modeling in the, in the design and the penetration management of fire protection and flooding, flood protection for the recent safety measures uh, works uh, at the Kashiwaze Kariwa nuclear power plant. Like this, uh, building information modeling can 
link the technical information of each equipment on building information on 3D. This is also an important uh, initiative for facility management after the start of operation. Uh, from now, uh, ABW operation experience, the fa facility utilization rate has been low for the past 10 years due to outages for seismic strengthening work flowing the Niigata Chuetsu Oki okay earthquake and for safety enhancement work after the uh, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant accident. However, the plant has shown relatively good performance in early operation cycles after the start of operation. The automatic scrum per 7,000 hours critical is used as an indicator of plant uh, reliability. Uh, unit 6 and 7 performed well against the global average at that time. The, the high value of the eighth cycle of unit 7 is due to the uh, Chuetz and the Chuetz OK earthquake. The cause of the automatic scrums are listed here, uh, but none of the events were caused by the ABWL design. Uh, here is the status of uh, Kashazakaru ABWR after the accident. Uh, 11th March 2011, the earthquake we have never experienced occurred. This earthquake was the largest earthquake recorded in Japan. As shown in the map here, the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is not far from the epicenter. This is a moment the tsunami triggered by the earthquake reached the nuclear power plant. As you can see, height of the Unit 4 reactor building is 56.4 meters from nominal sea surface. You can see the tip of the tsunami exceeded this height. The, when the uh, Fukushima Daiichi started operation, the design-based tsunami height was OP uh, 3.1 meter, which was uh, based on the assumption of an earthquake of the coast of Chile. Later, the tsunami height was raised to 6.1 meter by reflecting the latest findings at the time, uh, reassessment by, of, of tsunami height. And the tsunami countermeasures were implemented. However, the tsunami experienced in the uh, Fukushima Daiichi accident, this tsunami was much larger than expected. Our prepared preparedness for natural hazard with such large uncertainties was not enough. Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station took a direct hit from the giant tsunami about uh, 15 minutes after the earthquake happened. Pumps and uh, other outdoor equipment are installed on the seaside for releasing heat removal um, were damaged. 
and almost the entire site on which the, the reactor was built was flooded as a result of the tsunami. Also, water flooded into the turbine building and the other structures and the power supply facility failed. As a result, uh, various key safety functions such as uh, injection of coolant into reactors and the uh, ability to monitor status were lost. After this accident, uh, nuclear re regulation carried out a drastic reform uh, of their requirements. A new regulatory requirements have been added to strengths, measures to prevent and deal with severe accident and terrorism acts. In particular, independence requirements among safety systems have been strengthened to endure for preventing uh, common cause failure of safety systems. We also decided to apply many safety countermeasures uh, to the Akasha uh, Zakaru ABWR based on the lessons learned from the accident. ABWR was reinforced uh, defense in de depth against external events as a target natural phenomenon, we considered not only earthquake and tsunami, but also 40 natural events and 20 human-induced external events shown in the US New Reg and the IAEA safety guides, and selected the external events based on their cliff edge effect and their probability and established safety measures against them, and we strengthened measures also against internal flooding and uh, internal fire, and we used the uh, probability risk assessment, uh, probabilistic risk assessment to select accident sequence to be evaluated and to confirm effectiveness of the established safety measures. A basic approach to accident response has, been, has also been developed. In the Fukushima accident, we experienced a situation that it was very difficult to start using portable vehicle due to debris caused by hydrogen explosion of the, of the reactor building or uh, lab, uh, there are a lot of lab by the tsunami. Also, it take, took considerable time for support from off-site, such as refueling the beef girl. For this reason, we clarified concept of safety measures depending on the accident phase on early phase, as assuming limited human resources, resource and the difficulty in field access, initial response should be managed only by installed equipment. On later phase, assuming that the event will become more complex situation, we have to respond for a long time by flexible e equipment like mobile equipment. It will be necessary to respond by enhanced diversity and the availability of alternative measures with portable equipment. The, this shows example of equipment selected in each phase. In the initial response phase, shift team respond by installed equipment like uh, HPAC high pressure, uh, injection pump. Um, the portable equipment by on-site team should be available after 12 hours. 
a response by off-site such as refueling fuel can be expected after that. Based on this policy, we prepared the, the necess necessary safety measures facilities. Uh, this is a conceptual diagram of defense in depth. In each layer, equipment for we call the deck design extended condition has installed to prevent immediate move to the next layer in the event of a loss of safety function. Uh, this shows some example of uh, preparation of for loss of the design basis systems to prevent core damage. Uh, we installed HPAC, high pressure alternate cooling system. This system is independent from design accident equipment like uh, ECCS, uh, emergency core cooling system, and uh, steam drive against to perform on long term blackout condition. And, the, and uh, an alternate heat exchanger vehicle uh, was installed as a, a heat removal function. And this countermeasure makes it possible to remove decay heat from PCV, uh, pri primary containment vessel, uh, by portable equipment. The next is protection system for uncontrolled fusion products, uh, of fusion production release after core damage in case that water injection into the, the reactor after the core damage is not sufficient, uh, PCB top head is likely, likely to be high temperature. Uh, the explosion of the building that occurred in Fukushima Daiji accident, the cause is a high possibility of hydrogen leakage from the top head. Therefore, the system to inject water into the uh, PCB top head after core damage was installed. When venting from the, from the containment vessel, a filter vent system was installed in order to reduce fusion product a release to the environment as much as possible. The current status of Kashiya Zekkariwa Nuclear Power Station Unit 6 and 7 is to installing safety measures mentioned above are currently in progress. However, our weaknesses in nuclear security were revealed and we are currently implementing our countermeasures to address them we will continue to work towards the restart of operation after uh, building a relationship of trust with the local community. The story changed a bit from here. Uh, we have a construction project that has been suspended Due to, the, due to the accident, we have a plan to build an ABWR in Higashidori village, Aomori prefecture, located uh, in the north of Japan. This construction plan uh, is old. In 1965, it was decided to invite the project to uh, Higashidori, and in 2010, uh, installation permission from regulatory was obtained, and the construction work started. But the project was suspended in 2011 due to the accident. The original plan was construct two ABWR units. The currently 
the construction work remains suspended after the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant accident, the first priority is to restart of the Kashiwa the Kariwa nuclear power plant, after which the construction of uh, Higashidori nuclear power plant will be resumed. Now the design concept is being under consideration to adapt new regulatory standards. Uh, we are now considering the uh, plant concept, considering reflection of the lesson learned from Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant accident and the further improvement of safety through new technologies. From original ABWR, as reflecting the lesson learned from lesson runs from the Fukushima Daiichi accident, a dry site to protect from tsunami, a strict compartment isolation, and the enforcement of the, of the crucial building resistance for external hazard like airplane crash. We are going to redesign radically. And I think that severe accident countermeasures should be easier, so we are going to reflect more simplified and exclusive severe accident measures on plant design phase. I will adapt new technology or already adapted next generation plants to Higashidori ABWR like passive safety system. Uh, this is a conceptual diagram of, this, of the system. Uh, we will continue to study the introduction of a uh, core catcher, a passive uh, heat removal system, and uh, other new technology like uh, these to engine safety equivalent to the latest nuclear reactors. Oh, finally, uh, thank you uh, again for the opportunity to share our knowledge with you. Uh, we experienced the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant accident. However, uh, we strongly, we still believe that nuclear, nuclear power is essential to address energy security and environment issues peacefully. This message is attached to my presentation every time. I hope that you think about something uh, from this message. Um, I hope that our knowledge is utilized for you. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you so much, Wemura uh, san, for your uh, introduction of details experiences on the uh, advanced volume of the reactor. So, anyway, the, the uh, question from audience to, for the uh, Wemura san? Yes. Takasan, thank you very much for very detailed presentation. But if I may ask you almost a personal question. Mm. You've been the first responder at Fukushima, and you're a safety specialist. Will you eat fish from that region? Sorry, once again, please. <laughs> <laughs> Will you eat fish? Yeah. Catched at the close to Fukushima site? Around the Fukushima site? Yeah. Oh, yes, sure. Because I, I know the effect of radioactive materials, yeah. Arigatou gozaimasu. Yeah. And I like fishing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any other question? Oh, no. This is fast. So, uh, thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, I have one question uh, regarding the communication topic. 
So, uh, as I understand, a uh, nuclear power plant has uh, like one main owner, but uh, there are like several different subcontractors. Uh, and my question, in your experience, how is the communication handled throughout these subcontractors? Do they communicate to each other directly, or the owner is the key point, like where all the communication is going through? Thank you. <coughs> Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I think that uh, it's needed to ho hold peri peri periodical, uh, sorry, pe periodical uh, meetings uh, uh, in each layer yeah, uh, mentioned above. Yeah, the you know the the project uh, of construction of nuclear power plant is very, very large. The, to communicate uh, the very important, the, so uh, each layer, uh, top and uh, with vendor, each layer have to uh, keep the communicate via the periodi periodical meetings. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I have a question about the uh, emergency, uh, um, like um, the, how to say, uh, fire trucks that you have uh, on fire site. Fire trucks. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, can those trucks be used outside the site boundaries as well? If, uh, if for that, or are they specifically for responding inside the power plant? Sorry, once again, please. <laughs> Uh, the yeah. fire trucks that, that are uh, inside the power plant in yeah. the territory, can they be used uh, like for the emergencies outside the power uh, okay. plant? Okay, yeah, it's difficult to answer. I know it's a, that, uh, yeah, it's a sensitive yeah, depending topic, on the yeah. Uh, situation. Yeah, depending on the situation. The, but it is the, possible. Yeah. Mm. Okay. The outside. Oh, there, if the, there are the fire in outside, the, mm, sorry, it's difficult to answer. It's depending on the situation, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, another question? We have a time to, for the two or three questions, oh, yeah. Um, thank you for a good, very deep uh, presentation. There's uh, a lot to uh, uh, read later also. Um, it was a good example. A large uh, advanced boiling water reactor, 1300 megawatts, was built in uh, four plus years, basically. So my question to you now, if we consider smaller, 300 megawatt unit, which is basically four, four times smaller, what do you think uh, in... Uh, if everything is going very well, what's the fastest you could build uh, these kind of small reactors in, in the future? Um, <laughs> yeah, thank you for... Uh, Just your own yeah, opinion. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's difficult to answer that, but uh, uh, we don't have uh, detailed plans the future. The, our first priority is listed. After, then, after that, uh, we will uh, consider how to uh, treat, how to, how to uh, the, about the strategy of the nuclear plant. But uh, yeah, SMR is uh, one of option. The, but uh, in case of Japan, there is no regulatory requirement for new reactors. The, so the, it's difficult to uh, identify the impact of, for cost and the construction period uh, without uh, regulation for new reactors. The, so, the, mm, but the, I think that the, it's a one of option, yeah. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm, yes, I think so. I think so. But uh, but in case of Japan, there is no 
regulatory for new reactors, yeah, uh, it will take for a long time, um, I think. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Any other, any more question, comments? No. Okay. I hope the uh, any more question. The after the 5 p.m. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, William. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>